Today we're gonna take a look at the new budget 3D scanner from 3D Maker Pro, the Lynx 3D Scanner. This large format 3D scanner allows you to scan objects up to 5000 mm, which means theoretically you can scan a whole car using this scanner with no issues. Well, other than the normal 3D scanner shortcomings like black, reflective, and featureless surfaces. 3D Maker Pro are known for their high quality 3D scanners, which come in multiple shapes, forms, and purposes, like the Mole, Magic Swift Plus, Whale, and Seal. I swear, I'm not making this up, they actually have 3D scanning devices with these names. But today, we're gonna try and focus on the Lynx, which is this bulky scanner. It's mainly aimed at bigger objects and a larger scanning range, but it can definitely scan small objects as well. It can do up to, or I should say down to, 0.10 mm accuracy. The listing page is recommending a range between 100 and 2000 mm objects that should be enough to scan most of the things around you, at least stuff that you may need to manufacture under a 3D printer or something like that. But let's see the Lynx 3D scanner right now. At the time of making this video, it's going for $459, it's not cheap, but it's nothing compared to other scanners, I mean the high-end scanners that come with a price of $10,000 or $20,000. Also you can snag this for less than $400. 3D Maker Pro does these sales all the time, and Black Friday is right around the corner, so you might want to check when the time comes. The scanner comes in three combos, standard, premium, and luxury. The standard package will only include the scanner and the necessary cables, and the premium package will also include a tripod, a turntable, and a carrying case, which is very useful if you want to do some on-the-run outdoor scanning. However, it will set you back around 90 bucks, but I'd say it's worth it if you need to take the scanner with you. The turntable in particular is a great option for scanning stuff as it allows you to get constant results. So. If you get the premium package like the one I have here, you're going to find all the things I got here, including cables, the turntable, tripod, power adapter, and manual, of course. The setup process is very simple as well. All you need to do is hook the included cables, such as the power cable, which goes to the power adapter, and the USB goes to this weird looking input that you can't miss. And this VDB looking antenna cable only plugs with one orientation, so you don't have to force it. Next, install the JM Studio software, which is very easy to get running. Also, you can download the driver and the software from the official 3D Maker Studio website or just search JM Studio. The Link Scanner boasts a precision of up to 0.1 mm, with a scanning speed of 10 frames per second, which is kind of slow, but it can capture a single area of 400 by 250 mm with a working distance of 400 to 900 mm, which is a very sizable chunk. From this, you can surmise that the link is able to scan small objects. I mean small like under 20 cm or 200 mm. However, while the precision is great, it's more suited for a larger object like a helmet or an engine, maybe the hood of a car or the whole bumper. Another thing to keep in mind is the scanner and the software are a bit demanding, so having a good amount of processing power like RAM, CPU and GPU combo is recommended, and it is a must if you want to get fast and efficient results. Now, the minimum system requirements are listed here in the official website, but going with a low-end laptop will cause the scan to be choppy and jumpy. So if you have a good rig, preferably a desktop, you should go with that. There are a lot of powerful laptops out there so it doesn't have to be a desktop, since it can offer you much more mobility and freedom. The JM Studio software is a more than capable tool that should satisfy the needs of the majority of users. It allows you of course to scan geometry, edit point clouds, and export your 3D mesh, but also it helps you merge multiple scans together as well as advanced 3D geometry editing like removing junk geometry, cleaning, and remeshing your model. As we mentioned before, the Lynx is ideal for scanning objects that are between 6 and 8 inches, which are about 20 centimeters cubed. To start scanning, you're gonna go through three steps. In order to preview your model and to make sure the distance and the model are in the right place. Next, you're going to highlight the turntable, if you have one, so that the software can remove it automatically, which is a good thing. And for the last step, 
you're gonna start scanning, which you can keep track of in real time. You can repeat the process multiple times to scan all the sides, and JM Studio can align the scan automatically. Finally, the processing step will bring everything together by fusing the point clouds and removing any disconnected points or junk geometry in addition to filling any holes, remeshing the model, and more importantly, applying the color texture. When you first open the software, you can pick between starting a new scan or editing an existing one. If you pick the editing option, it allows you to continue editing one of your previous scans. But if you click start a new scan, you will have to first hit preview to make sure that your framing is on point. And while you're at it, you can adjust the brightness and sensitivity on the right of the screen. The brightness better be set as high as possible without getting any red spots, which indicates that it is clipping. Next, you can scan the model and you can choose between geometry or texture. Geometry will scan the geometry and texture will deliver a texture object while scanning, which is cool. Once the framing and brightness is set, you can press initial. This will scan the table so it can be removed later. Now, put your object back and hit scan. Once it is done, you will see a preview of the scan. Now flip your object or put it on the side and hit append. You can do this as many times as needed to capture every possible angle. Now if you want to capture the textures, to do that, go to this table scan and pick textures in the scan mode. Doing one or two textured scans should be enough to capture the texture. Now make all the different scans visible. The viewport will look like a mess of overlapping geometry. But don't worry, the AI algorithm will align everything perfectly. And now hit align. And to remove the turntable, just go to the selection menu and choose remove selection. And finally, for the processing phase, you have a couple of options. Fusion will turn the point cloud to a mesh and removing noise will get rid of all the junk geometry around the object. The repair will fill the holes, and finally texture mapping will texture the model. However, unlike the other scanners on the market, this scanner is black and white, so the texture is not gonna be that useful, but the scans were very good. Now, is it good enough for 3D printing? It can be, but I think the main focus of Lynx is reverse engineering. It can scan a large area and a big object with a great precision which allows you to use it in CAD software and to create fittings and models that you know are correctly scaled. So if you guys are interested in this scanner, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.